This is the Ficus Elastica rubber tree and today I'll explain how to care for this beautiful tree indoors. So I do have three varieties in my collection. Uh, probably the most popular one right now on the market is the Ficus Elastica Burgundy. Um, this one is just the regular kind of uh, just solid green, a little bit lighter than the burgundy. Um, and this one I received as a cutting from a plant friend on a local plant page. And um, I'm rooting it in water right now. So it's getting where it has one kind of larger root. Just waiting for a few more roots before I put it in soil. I believe this one is just called the Decora. And uh, this one here with the crazy camel leaf is the Taniki. And again, this is another very popular variety right now for obvious reasons. It just has absolutely beautiful, beautiful leaves. And this one I bought, um, it was about half this size, probably about a year ago. And it's been doing extremely well. It's been putting out uh, new growth. As you can see there, it's getting another new leaf. Um, some new leaves there as well. One of the most frustrating things for any plant owner is not knowing where to place a plant. Each plant requires specific lighting conditions, so just doing a little bit of research before you bring a plant home will give it its best chance of survival. If you know you have a north facing window, so it gets basically lower light throughout the day, research those type of plants that would be suitable for a north facing window. This window right here is a south facing window, so plants that require low light will not do good in high light or bright full sun. It will kind of fade the leaves. It can give uh, some leaf burn and leaf scorch. So just knowing where to place a plant before you bring it home and what type of windows you have in your house will give it its best chance of survival. So there's a couple different tools on the market that can help you determine whether the light in your room is sufficient enough for a plant. First one being is this little three-way meter. It uh, determines moisture, light, and pH levels uh, in soil. Uh, when you have it to the light setting, it uses this little sensor in the front to show you uh, in what's called foot candle measurements uh, the lights that you're getting in the room. There's a little card that comes with the meter as well, and as you can see right there, uh, ficus trees require between 100 and 1,000 foot candles uh, for its light requirements. Another very useful tool is downloading a light metering app on your smartphone. It uses your camera senses to calculate the foot candle measurements of light in any room. In my experience, these are probably higher light requirement plants, but can tolerate some medium light situations. Just make sure whichever area you choose that gets plenty of bright indirect light and maybe even a little morning or late afternoon direct sunlight should be okay. An east or west facing window should be fine. If it is near a south facing window like this one, uh, place it about five to six feet back. Once you figure out where to place this plant, the rest is pretty much easy. In regards to watering, only water when the top one to two inches of soil is dry and then I'll give it a thorough watering. Uh, but with that being said, I will not let these go dry for very long. Uh, they don't tolerate extremely dry soil for very long and they also don't tolerate uh, sitting in wet or damp soil. So I might keep an eye on these a little bit closer than some of my other plants and once I notice it's dry, I'll give it a good thorough watering. The soil that I use for all my ficus elasticas is just miracle Grows African Violet and Tropical Plant Mix. It is a good draining soil. I do add a little bit extra perlite there as well for added drainage. Um, but overall, I've had pretty good success with this soil so far. I typically don't fertilize my plants throughout the winter months, but as it's starting to get some new growth here, it's probably requiring some extra energy and nutrients. So I'll be using miracle Grows granular water soluble 20-20-20 balanced formula, and I'll probably just cut that in half and uh, give it during its next watering. I might do it only once a month, kind of in the spring, and uh, maybe once every two weeks, kind of throughout the summer months, and again, stopping in the fall and winter. I've never really had any major pest problems with this plant, uh, but I did notice a couple times just some small webs uh, in between some of the leaves. Um, I basically just kind of hosed it off and haven't had a problem since. Um, one thing I will do uh, once every kind of two to three days is just give it a light misting. This can help deter spider mites from uh, taking refuge in your plant here. They prefer more of a dry condition, so just giving it uh, a little bit of misting every couple days can help that. Some of the other pests and bugs that uh, can affect this plant are aphids, mealybugs, and scale. So whenever uh, you give it a good thorough watering, uh, just make sure that you kind of inspect this plant uh, from top to bottom. and. Uh, treating for those insects as you find them.
Regular house humidity and temperature is good for these plants. They don't need a super high humid environment or anything like that. Kind of one of the myths out there with misting is that people will say it'll provide extra humidity for this plant. Um, basically what it does is dampen the leaves. It doesn't actually provide any humidity to the uh, surrounding environment. So yeah, just regular house humidity and temperature is fine for these plants. So that's pretty much it for all the care requirements for this beautiful plant. Uh, like I said, there are, I have three different varieties here, but there is also a number of other varieties out there. And chances are, if you are a plant person or a plant owner, you already have one of these. So hopefully this video has helped you out. I may do another kind of light requirement video uh, down the road. So if that interests you, please leave that in the comment section, letting me know whether you're interested in anything like that or not. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you liked it. Uh, please leave some comments. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. Bye.